So as we start to take a look at some of those numbers and we see some districts put the mask mandates back in place, uh, there might be some questions. We have the Toledo Lucas County Health Commissioner Eric Skajinski with us today. It seems like we might be heading in the wrong direction here when it comes with cases and kids. What are your thoughts? Well, uh, again, we've had a little bit of uptick from the past couple of weeks uh, over the last uh, four or five days. So we're watching that. I, we mentioned that last week. But if you look at the uh, the numbers that um, are associated with kids a uh, zero to 18 mm -hmm. uh you know there's they're staying somewhat static at zero to four and five to 11. it's when you get to the 12 to 18s that we, we've seen a jump so the last uh, last week or so we've had about 59 and the week before that we're 36. so you've seen a jump overall our kid numbers went from 121 again two weeks ago to last week about 146. so there has been an increase in those childhood cases Okay, but relatively speaking, somewhat low when you look at the bigger picture here. Yeah, somewhat low, but I, I, again, I think you 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 heard like a Washington local mm -hmm. uh, saw some increased cases, and they decided to put the mask, uh, I guess, the mask mandate back on. Do you think that that's going to be a theme that we will see again? Some of these schools that took off all of the mandates and made it essentially recommended but not required. Do you think we'll see them switch course? Yeah, it's a good possibility. It depends on, I think, how many cases they have with inside of their school district or in their schools. And they'll, they'll make the decision whether to put that mask back on or not. Now, we are now seeing the first round of children get that vaccine. You know, we've heard this time and time again for months as we waited for this, that the vaccine is going to be the answer to this whole thing. Do you believe that to be true? You know, uh, again, I do believe that is our, our best tool and the, the answers lie what's ahead of us. You know, we saw the Delta variant kind of, you know, overtake us. And so what's the next variant going to be? Uh, are we getting enough people vaccinated now so that, uh, again, we have less likelihood of the next variant being passed? So I, I do believe that it is definitely the tool that we're going to use to, to keep ourselves out of the or try to keep ourselves out of the next variant to come across the across the United States. Mm -hmm. And finally, last question here for you, Eric, as we head into the winter months again, you said we're starting to see it already, but we haven't had a lot of the indoor sports. Uh, we haven't had large activities inside when it comes to the colder weather. At least do you think that this will be a trend that we saw last winter or do you think that the adult vaccination rate is high enough that that won't be an issue? I think we're going to see spikes. And again, like we've talked about it many a times over the last couple of months, you know, COVID is here to stay. We're going to have to learn to live with it and then react to whatever's happening in the community at that point in time. Again, much like Washington Local did, they reacted to saying, let's put face coverings back on for, you know, for a time being, whatever that looks like. And, and I think we're going to have to, you know, ebb and flow with this disease and do the things that are going to keep ourselves healthy and our community healthy. All right. Well, Eric, thanks so much for joining us today. We really sure. appreciate Thank your you. insight. Thank you.